So I've set up the security camera here down at our camping area where it's we're not down here all the time. And so far, I've got the security camera part installed and it actually comes with a really nice panel where you can just slip this on really easily. So I just need to finish putting in my screws and then the ones on the side here that are gonna hold it into place. I now have the solar panel installed and I chose to go this direction as it's mainly east and of course facing the sky. And I'm gonna keep an eye on it if it doesn't seem to be getting enough of a charge. I can always move it or get a ladder and put it up higher on our building. But otherwise it does come with a nice long cord so that you do have the option to adjust that if need be. Use some fun features with the app that comes with the security camera. So first you're going to want to download the UBOX app and when you open that up, you can, I've already of course um, installed the device so I can see here where it's down at our camping area. And so all you have to do is click on it and then it brings up the live feed footage and it will show you when there's been some movement um, in below and so you can kind of scroll through this and look at the different videos that it's recorded. Um, you can also move the camera so if you press this little icon here on the left now I can go ahead and like just touch the button and it starts moving my camera so that I can kind of keep an eye on when people are coming and going or if there's any animals around or different things like that. So that's a really cool feature. You also have the microphone if you do have someone there and you wanna to talk to them. Um, you can also take pictures just by pressing the camera. Um, up in the upper left, you can do SD or you can do high def. And then with the little gear box on the upper right, you can click on that. You can change the device name, how its storage is being done. Um, I've also played with like the activity detection. And so Medium, I've noticed, did not catch people coming in, but it did catch when they were moving around. And so I decided to change it back to high as I want to know when people are entering the um, camping area. And then you can also do scene mode where you can switch to night mode and normal mode. But I actually played around with it last night and I'll show you um, a recording from last night. So here's what it looks like at night. So I was pretty impressed with that. So you can kind of see my son and I walking around down there with our puppy. And so it's pretty clear. Um, so I was pretty impressed with that. And then you can even go back when you um, have days where you have lots of video footage and you can actually go through and hold down on it and then um, actually select them to delete and so that's kind of a nice feature too if you want to you know just get rid of some of these um, extra videos that you don't need and then you could go ahead and delete them so that's kind of a nice feature too. Um, overall, very happy with this. Um, and like I said, it just gives us that option to be able to see what's going on down there um, as we aren't down there all the time. And then we can keep an eye on if people are coming and going and predators.